Azzy. Cassie? Gorgeous princess. <laughs> Are you a riddle woman? Oh, I'm a, I'm a woman of the riddles. It's been a month, girl. Let's get it. Michael woke up really early one morning. He had met some aliens last night. What? He was sure of it, okay? He's not fibbing. Michael living the life. He dreamed that an alien spaceship landed in his yard. Two funny creatures came up to him. <laughs> and they talked. Yeah, they were laughing. <laughs> Amazing. They even took selfies. Oh, that's so cute. Michael wanted to trick his friends. Ooh, he's using this for evil. So he downloaded some photos from the internet. Spicy. Michael went to school. Hi, I'm in school now. He told his friends he saw some aliens. He met them last night though. And look, he has pictures as proof. He's got receipts. But his classmates did not believe him for one second. Why? Because he lied. <laughs> yeah, because he's a little liar. Maybe they reverse uh, image searched it on Google. Yeah, that's how you found out any everyone's lying. Oh, it certainly is. I think it's because uh, none of these photos are selfies. Like all of these are taken from, like he's not a photographer. He's saying he took pictures with them. The perspective's all wrong. Yeah, where is he? And why is everybody running? There's like chaos. Oh, we're wrong. The moon looks different in every picture. Oh, oh, these photos are taken on different days. Oh, okay. Well, we can warm up. We can warm up. We're, we're warming up, all right? We got this. I'm a little mad, and Michael was mad. He's fuming. His friends didn't believe him. Oh no, it sucks. Boo hoo, don't be a liar then. Yeah, <laughs> he got caught lying. He's angry, he's marching outside as fast as he can. He walked a couple of meters, and bam! <gasps> Someone hit him in the back of the skull. <laughs> Nobody wants anybody else to know about the aliens. Michael woke up in a lab with a crazy scientist. <laughs> as soon as the si as soon as, that's a new word. <laughs> as soon as. As soon as the scientist left. Michael ran out of the room. Ah, is this karma for lying? Ah. He went down the corridor. He came across three doors. Oh, you know we're doing riddles. There's three doors. Always. First door, laser cell. Cut anyone to pieces. <laughs> Second door, a huge abyss. Fallen forever. Ah. A third door, a room full of poisonous gas. Oh, sorry, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Michael took three pills from the lab. The pills could transform him. Ooh, a plot twist. Not just three doors. He could become a zombie, a vampire, or a werewolf for ten minutes. Maybe this guy's got legs and can jump over the abyss. Well, I think the... the can't vampires turn into bats and fly? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, so bat abyss. Bat abyss, or zombies already dead, poisonous gas can't kill him. <gasps> oh. Let's go with vampire because I like the bat idea. I, li I like that too. Let's do that. What is it? Yes. Oh, the lasers through oh. the vampire. Oh, well, I mean, it'd be so much easier to fly well, over the abyss. Like Over the abyss. Oh, oh this oh, oh, this guy does have legs and he can jump. Oh. oh, you were right. Oh, yeah. We were right about the zombie with the gas. We just played connect the dots. <laughs> we're close enough. Azzy, have you ever hitchhiked before? Never, but I've always joked about it. Have you? I actually have. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, that's so scary. Actually, very dangerous. Don't ever, ever do that. I did it because, I don't know, I was really stupid. Still am. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've all been there. <laughs> Michael escaped, ran down the road, saw an old man driving, and asked him for a ride. He's a little hitchhiker. The old man agreed. Oh no, this is not gonna end well. On the way, the old man told Michael an amazing story. I went to a magazine office. I told them that I invented a time machine. Then why are you old, huh? Well, let, 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 you slow down. I'll get there. Oh, okay, okay. I spoke with Da Vinci, Indiana Jones, even Einstein himself. Oh, wow. I wanted the journalist to write an article about me, but he didn't believe me. I wonder why. It's because you and your little guy in the car tell tall tales that nobody could ever believe. Also, did Da Vinci paint the Mona Lisa? Did he? Yeah, no, uh, what? I think he did. No, wait, he did. Can I Google this? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Oh, 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 Indiana Jones has a watch. Yeah, he didn't have a watch. That's crazy. Indiana Jones is a fictional character. You couldn't have gone meet him. That too. 
Exactly, pretty smart little boy. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> We're like, Indiana Jones didn't have a watch? Are you crazy? These girls are going on a double date today. A date with some guys off the internet. Woohoo! Party! What could go wrong? Oh, I don't know. Huh, guess we'll see. My ex cheated on me all the time. Oh, this is the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to trust any guy. <laughs> Me? I'm not afraid. Mm -mm. You don't know what it's like. I can always tell if someone's cheating. Mm -hmm. Of course, look at these photos. Do you think this person is cheating on their partner? Mm. Is the person in the picture the same as the girl in the photo? No, it's not. They don't have the same birthmark. Oh. Yeah. This guy's definitely got another girl. Okay, what I don't get is that how can she always tell? Like, she can only tell if there's a birthmark there. Do you think this person is cheating on their partner? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's Nikki, but then he also has a gift for Cindy. Who is Sydney? Who is it? We want to know. Uh, <laughs> this guy has two girlfriends. Who has time for two girlfriends? This lady's husband went on a long business trip. She sent him this photo. Ooh, she went shopping and everything. Mm. And he knew she was cheating on him. How he know? I don't. Oh. Ooh. Oh, there's, there's, yeah, there's a tie back there. Mm, 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 Maybe mm. she likes wearing ties. Maybe she's like having a little Avril Lavigne phase in her life. Maybe. If he's away on business, whose suitcase is this? Exactly, that's what we want to know. Do you think this person is cheating on their partner? Hmm? Uh, I mean, he looks kind of scary, but I don't know if he's cheating. 10 out of 10 for creepy points, but I don't know if he's cheating. Who's he cheating her with? A fish? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do say he sleeps with the fishes, but. I don't know, I, I mean, he's wearing a suit underneath, so that's a little weird and unfitting, but I maybe he's just a weird dude. I don't think people wear ties when they go fishing. Well, this weirdo does. Yeah, that's very, like, a very small detail to make an assumption of, like, cheating on someone, but okay. Wow, you're pretty good at this. <gasps> I'll tell you more. <laughs> Please. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Our neighbor, Mrs. Smith, called the police. Today, John was really upset. We argued. Then he got dressed and left, and he pulled the door open and ran out into the cold. I didn't close the door. Why not? Because I thought he'd calm down and come back. Okay. But a few minutes later, two men burst into my house. What? And they wanted the money and the jewelry. Just then, I heard the front door creaking. It was John. <laughs> Defend us, John. I yelled, John, run, call the police. Oh, she's so, she's so cute. If it was me, I'd be like, help. But he was worried about me. Oh. He ran in and fought the robbers. Like, bam, 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 bam. Hit one of them. Boom, and they disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> the police officer inspected the crime scene. I think you're trying to fool me, see? Doesn't work like that, see? Why does he think that? Oh, I know. Why? When did John have time to put his jacket on the hanger? <laughs> yeah, no, he got hit on the head and then he just nicely put his old jacket away, and took off the scarf, took off the shoes. It's what a good guy does. Yeah, he was wearing slippers. This guy. This guy. Oh, you have a story too? Yeah, I got a story too. You gotta sit down for this. So I met a guy once on a dating app. Uh-huh. I really liked him. Great looks, common interests. He said he was a pilot and he flies in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Loved cars and was learning the guitar. He's a jack of all trades. The man of my dreams. We decided to meet. Oh, please don't get catfished. Please don't get catfished. I picked the fountain in the park, a very public area. When he showed up, I knew he had lied to me. How? Uh, wait, why is he in his uniform? That's weird. It's a bit weird, right? Like, you wouldn't wear your uniform to a date. Especially not a first date. You definitely wouldn't. Unless you're really trying to, like, make a point. I could be wrong, but don't you have to have 20-20 vision to be a pilot? Oh! Oh, you could be right. <laughs> I think that that's true of like the Air Force, but I don't know about like just commercial airlines. Uh, I'm gonna go with that because I'm not sure. Pilots can't have such bad eyesight. Guys lie all the time, but so do girls. Just not nearly as much. They can even hide their pregnancy. What, why? Which one of them is pregnant? Oh, oh. I think the one on the left, because you're not supposed to eat seafood, right? But this guy's like, let's try it today. Maybe we've waited for long enough. Uh -huh. And she's like covering her mouth like she doesn't want to. Oh, what about this? I made your favorite coffee! And she's gonna throw up. Are you allowed to drink coffee when you're pregnant? I think so. 
don't think so. Let's go with seafood. Shellfish. You're not supposed to eat that, right? Yeah, I don't. I've never heard anything about this coffee, but what do I know? I've never been pregnant, so. <laughs> she suddenly doesn't like her favorite coffee. She's obviously the pregnant one. Oh. Oh yeah, because your appetites change. I guess. Which one of them is prego? Mm. I don't know. Oh, not the one on the right, because they're clearly at a bar. Oh, really? Oh, they are. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I think the left. Like, doesn't mean you can't go to one, but you wouldn't probably, right? I didn't know that you'd be dizzy after a long climb. I don't know. Okay, I'm learning. Which one of these party girls is pregnant? The one in the red dress doesn't have any drinks with her. Everybody else seems to have one. This girl's sick, but she's probably sick looking at the sushi. Yeah, and look behind her. She has a martini. Wait, this girl doesn't want to drink alcohol? Because Wait, how do we know that? She's drinking out of martini glass. Oh no, she's pouring it into the plant. She's trying to kill the plant? Oh! Somebody broke a window at Jerry's school. Someone was asking for it. The principal suspected Jerry, Jim, and Carrie. He questioned all of them. Which one of you guys is getting expelled? I over overslept. I, I pretty much just got here. I was thirsty. I was getting a cafeteria water. <laughs> uh, I was studying Australian in the library. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's lying? Who's lying, Azzy? Wait, I, w I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Well, okay, here's what I think. How do you study Australian if they speak English? Are you studying the accents? Is it linguistics? Really true. I think Carrie's line. Oh my god, you a genius. Yay, my riddle brain getting warm. There's no such thing as an Australian. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> oh, they speak English in Australia. Oh, there's no such thing as in Australia. <laughs> you guys don't exist, apparently, according to this riddle. <laughs> a robot escaped from a lab. Ooh, hopefully he's a good robot. Oh, yeah, these robots look like people. Hello. The scientists called the police. The police tracked down the robot. They used surveillance cameras. They found out it was hiding in the pool, as humans do. That's where I would hide, too. When the police arrived, they saw three men. They all said they'd been swimming for an hour and had just gotten out. How can the police identify the robot? Mm, who's not pruny? Who's not pruny? Show me your fingers, guys. Uh, I don't know. They all look dry to me. Like, they all look fine. I mean, these two are wearing towels and this one's not. That's the only distinction I see. Are you pruny? Are, are you, you pruny? pruny? Hey! Yeah! She wants to see their hands, Azzy! Hey! Hey! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Human skin is gonna get wrinkly. Robot skin won't. Dun dun dun! A lady was on vacation. Ooh la la. Ooh, chillin'. The motion sensor in her apartment kept sending alerts. Azzy, what would you do? Um, I would call the cops. I'd be like, yo, someone's in my house. I'm not at home. Help me out. They're trying to steal stuff. Help me out. Get there immediately. Here's a list of my most valuable things. But no one came in through the doors or the windows. They came in through the roof. She says an alien probably visited her apartment. Or I guess that works as well. <laughs> the police laughed at her. They don't want to help. They're like, laugh at her. Anyway, nothing's been stolen. Time for you to get down to business, Azzy. The lady brings you photographs taken in her house. Oh, she got the FBI on this. What's wrong here? Everything. Everything. The this, this statue keeps moving all over the place. Yeah, that's creepy. Statue keeps moving. Um, anything else? I think it's just the statue. Oh. Ooh, that's the alien. Ew, that would actually be scary. That's so scary. This is like some like Chucky stuff. Eh, an alien's been here. A group of friends went to a cabin for the night. Pretty dark, huh? Yeah. It was by the sea. Ooh, beautiful. I'm down for it. Chloe was found unconscious in the morning, partied a little too hard. The police questioned the others. I was out getting breakfast. I didn't see anything. I feel so bad for her. I cleaned the living room after the party, so I went to bed late and slept till noon. I woke up early and went for a run. Who be lying? Who be Lion. I don't remember their stories. <laughs> Neither do I. I do that all the time to focus on making the voice good and then... I was out getting breakfast. Okay, it was the next morning. I woke up early and went for a run. Clean the living room after the part. Yeah. All right. All right, so Rose is lying because she said she cleaned the living room after the party and it's filthy. Oh, wait, this... This is the bedroom. Yeah, this is still the remains of a party, it looks like to me. There's drinks everywhere, cups everywhere. It's a mess. She said she cleaned the room. She did not. It's still so messy. She didn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Filthy liar. Lies. Disgusting. I hate liars. Absolutely despicable behavior. One evening, Sally was walking in the woods. Suddenly, she tripped over a tree root. Oh, careful, Sally. Care oh, man. I tried to help her. In the dirt was a red gem. It was so special that it was even glowing. Oh. Oh. 
Sally picked it up and started to heat up. A cloud of smoke flew up, and suddenly she found herself on a far away island. I thought I was gonna say missing an eye, because her eye was closed. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, one of her eyes was gone. An old wizard was standing in front of her, and he said, You took something of mine, and you will be punished. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, let's not play the blame game here. I think she found it. I don't think she took it. If you want to escape, you have to do something for me. Find the gems that are scattered across the islands. What? That's so much work. Remember, you can only cross each bridge once. I think he planted the jewel and is just making this up so I can do his scavenger hunt for him. I know, right? Oh wait, this is pretty easy, isn't it? It's okay, yeah, yeah. So you, let's say we're starting from the right. Go green, red, blue, green, yellow, red, escape. Oh, okay. I'll trust you. I'll trust you on that. I'll trust your gigantic brain. Uh, oh, I didn't uh, know you could use uh. the sand. Uh. Oh, oh, but wait. The wizard set her free because she used the sand in her gigantic brain. Do you think she might want to return to that mysterious island one day? Well, she knows where all the gems are, probably. Welcome to your first lesson of the history of magic. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Hogwarts. My name is Professor Root. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you in all my class. The history of magic is an important subject. I want to start our classes with a story about my adventures. Okay, old man, just don't talk for too long. It's history too, I even wrote a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> I will read you the first chapter. <laughs> Once I was walking through the woods late at night collecting rare herbs. They don't call him Professor Root for nothing. Suddenly a basilic attacked me. <laughs> it's kind of like a dragon. <laughs> All I had on me was a comb, a handkerchief, a mirror, and a pen. Okay. What do you think helped me survive? I don't know Professor Root. I don't know, you're attacked by a dragon. Yeah, what are those things uh, vulnerable to? I don't know, use the magnifying glass to scare him. Do its hair for free. <laughs> yeah, comb your beard back and scare him. <laughs> this kid looks confused. Uh, I, think, I think I have an answer. Uh, a mirror can help reflect the basilisk's gaze. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't Ooh. know they turned everything into stone. Correct. Please note that you can't look into Basilic's eyes. I should have said that from the beginning. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Root. Really appreciate that. Well, Azzy, that was fun as usual. And now let's go to your channel and do some more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.